Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, how can I get a driver's license after being arrested for DUI? Everybody who drives a motor vehicle in the state of Florida enters into a contract with DMV requiring them to abide by all traffic-related laws. And this includes both DUI and Florida's implied consent law. So if you get arrested for DUI, and if you either blow over the legal limit of 0.08, or if you refuse to blow, then your Florida driver's license will be administratively suspended. This means that at the time of your DUI arrest, the cops are going to physically impound your driver's license. When they issue you your DUI citation, you're going to be placed on notice that your driving privilege has been suspended and that you've only got 10 days from the date of that DUI citation to challenge this administrative suspension. In the interim, your DUI citation itself will serve as a 10-day temporary and restricted driver's license. For more on this, please watch Haber PA's video FAQ number 202, When Can I Drive with a Florida Hardship or BPO Driver's License? At this point, the only license that you may be entitled to is a restricted BPO or hardship license. And in order to get it, you're going to have to elect one of three paths within that 10-day window. You can either request a formal review hearing. This is a full-blown evidentiary hearing that occurs at the Department of Motor Vehicles to challenge the suspension. You can request an informal review hearing, which is a review of the documents supporting the suspension without the taking of any testimony or you can submit to an eligibility review where you admit the legitimacy of the suspension and you get a BPO. There are four important things to note here. One, each of these options has certain conditions precedent, meaning there are things that you have to do in advance in order to even apply. Two, you should consult with an experienced DUI lawyer before you make a choice because each path has its own pluses and minuses. Three, you're going to have a much easier time with a lawyer guiding and handling this for you than doing it yourself. And four, if you fail to act within this 10-day period, then you're screwed and you get no license. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.